In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to convert VS Code to a powerful IDE by using an extension called Python. With this extension or plugin, we get a number of features such as linting, which basically means analyzing our code for potential errors. We also get debugging, which involves finding and fixing errors. We'll look at this later in the course. We also get auto completion, which basically helps us write code faster so we don't have to type every character. We get code formatting, which is all about making our code clean and readable, just like how we format our articles, newspapers, books to make them clean and readable. We get unit testing, which involves writing a bunch of tests for our code. We can run these tests in an automated fashion to make sure our code is behaving correctly. And finally, we get code snippets, which are reusable code blocks that we can quickly generate so we don't have to type them all by hand. Now, don't worry about memorizing any of these. As we go through the course, you're going to learn about these features. Now, here in VS Code, on the left side, click this icon. This opens the Extensions tab. So these are the extensions that we can install in VS Code to bring in additional functionality. Here under the Recommended tab, you can see the Python extension. If you don't see this, simply type Python here on the top. And here's the extension. So go ahead and install this. And then you will have to reload VS Code. Now here on the bottom right corner, you can see this message, linter pylint is not installed. So as I told you before, linting is about finding potential errors in our code. Linter is a program or a tool that analyzes our code and finds these potential problems. Now for Python, there are several linters out there. PyLint is one of the most popular ones that this Python extension uses by default. So we need to go ahead and install PyLint as well. Now to do this, first we need to change our Python environment. So if you look here on the bottom left corner, you can see the current Python that is used in VS Code, that is Python 2.6.9 on my machine. Chances are you see a different version here. So click here and in this list, make sure to select Python 3.7. So this changes our Python environment to Python 3.7. And then we can install PyLint by clicking this button. Okay, PyLint is installed. Beautiful. In the next lecture, I will show you how linting works.